Hey everyone, so I'm going to do another video. I'm sorry, yet again I look like this, um, but we're just not going to talk about it. Um, I'm sorry if my computer is moving or you hear barking. My dogs are right here, so they're loud and annoying and don't listen to me. So um, I'm going to be doing a kind of mini review of all the movies that I've seen recently. I've seen a lot of movies because we've gotten a lot of free codes from Redbox. Um, we've gotten a lot of new ones from the library. So um, I decided to do kind of a mini review on them, not a full one. If you want a full review, let me know, and I'll definitely do one. Um, the first one is Annie, the new one that came out. Um, I know a lot of these are from, like, the end of last year, so they're not super new. Um, but I decided to... Marley, please, baby, please shut up. My dog just is so annoying. It's... Do any of you know how to make a dog stop barking? Um, she does it just to get attention and to get Zoe to play with her, or she'll just kind of roll around and bark. It, does anyone know how to stop that? Because it's really annoying, and both me and my fiancé hate it. But she doesn't listen to us. She just keeps going. Um, but anyway, back to Annie. Um, I did like this movie. It was not the best movie. Um, I would probably give it... Um, three, three and a half stars out of five. Um, they changed some of the songs. I'm, yet again, I'm used to the old Annie with, um, red curly hair. Um, so it just, it was not one of the best. Uh, the first thing I said getting out of the movie was, um, I liked the original better. Um, the next one I have for you is, uh, Jersey Boys. I loved this movie. I, it was a little boring in some parts, um, but there are almost is every single movie where you have to get through the boring parts to like the ending or the beginning or the other parts. Um, I love that kind of music. I'm kind of an old soul in that way that I was taught with the old-ish kind of music. Um, so I love the Jersey Boys and Frankie Valli and all of them. Um, so I was really excited to watch it, and it was actually a really good movie. Um, I would give that one probably a four, four and a half out of five. Um, I'm very picky with movies. Um, I don't really give a lot 5 out of 5 stars. The next one I saw was The Theory of Everything, which is about Stephen Hawking. Um, I really liked this movie, not as much as a 5 stars, but I liked it. Um, I would probably give it maybe, again, 3, 3.5 stars. Um, it was semi-boring. If you don't like Stephen Hawking or anything kind of like talking about smarts or school or anything like that, you probably wouldn't like it at all. Um, so it, it was good. What I didn't like was that um, I kind of learned from my fiancé that apparently Stephen Hawking is kind of um, kind of a butthole. I don't want to say the other word. Um, and so there's a lot of sections in the movie that they kind of faded over and didn't really put in or kind of misconstrued just because he is not that nice of a person, um, which I don't really like that. It's like you either like the person or you don't. You don't, sh you shouldn't kind of cover up for somebody. Um, but in the end, it was a good movie. The next one is This Is Where I Leave You. Um, this is the one where in the commercial, everyone goes home and they're grounded for a week. Um, I loved this movie. This movie, I will give a five out of five stars. I think it was absolutely hysterical. The cast was amazing. Um, there were jokes that were in your face. There were jokes that weren't in your face. There was so many drastically different characters and personalities that it just meshed really well together, and I loved that movie. Um, I was laughing from the beginning to the end. Oh, sorry about that. The next one is... Oh, let it go. Okay, Big Hero 6. I love this movie. Um, I would probably give it a 4 out of 5 stars, closer to a 5 star, but not there yet. Um, it was good. It wasn't the best movie um, I think it could have been a lot funnier. I think it could have, um, I think kind of Disney's really trying now because they had Frozen, which was a huge success, so they're trying so hard to bring out another Frozen. Um, and it was good. There was a lot of hysterical moments that I just could not stop laughing. Um, but then there were some of the kind of boring and stupid parts or the predictable parts. Um, and then the next one is Nightcrawler. Um, I would probably give this maybe a three, maybe two and a half star rating. 
Um, it was a good movie. It's about a guy that um, really needs money, so he becomes a um, a video. He like goes and records um, crime scenes um, because you can record crime scenes and sell them to news stations for a whole bunch of money. And so he was doing that, and it just it wasn't the best movie. Um, I think they could have done a lot better. They could have. I don't know. I didn't like him as a character at all. Um, but I, I guess it was okay. Like I said, I would probably give it maybe two out, two out of two and a half, three stars out of five. Um, because it does have a big kind of incident where he sees a crime, but he's not a very good person. So it's just, it's really hard to follow when you're following and not a very good person. Um, the next one is Ouija or Ouija, however you want to say it, um, this movie was really good. Um, I think it could be a tiny bit scarier. Um, like I said, I'm really hard on movies just because I love them so much. Um, but I liked this movie. It was scary. It was a very good concept. Um, I would probably give it, say, four out of five, four and a half out of five. Um, definitely a good scary movie night movie. The next one is, this is not actually the movie cover, but I like this better than the movie cover, um, the, the To Write Love on Her Arms movie. Um, I loved that movie. It kind of stuck with me um, personally because I've kind of gone through stuff like that. Um, if you don't know what To Write Love on Her Arms, it is for people that cut and um, or self-harm in some way, and it is to kind of show those people that we still love them and that they're still cared for and this, that, and the other thing. Um, it was a very emotional movie. I was crying almost the, throughout the whole movie, um, but it was very good. I would give definitely five stars. Um, anyone who has anything to do with that or has anyone else to do with that should watch the movie. The next one is The Book of Life. Um, it's the one that had about the Day of the Dead and the Mexicans and stuff like that. We watched it about halfway through, um, and then we stopped and we had to take it out because we just did not like it. Um, we thought it was a bit of a stretch. It was just, it wasn't good. It never really captured my interest. The jokes were very horrible and very cheesy and just... It never really made me want to watch it. I think the only reason we got it was because we had a free code for Redbox. There was nothing else to get, and we thought, hey, why not? We why don't we watch a newer movie? Um, so I would give it maybe one and a half, two stars. That's about it. The theory of it is interesting. The colors and the artistry was okay. I didn't like that they were wooden. It seemed like they were like wood dolls, but... Um, the next movie is The Box Trolls. I really liked this movie. Um, it was very, very cute. Um, not one of my best, though. I would probably give it maybe a 3.5 3 out of 5 stars. Um, they don't really talk. The Box Trolls don't really talk. Um, there are a lot of people in the movie, but it's not until about halfway through. Um, but it was a very interesting concept. Um, the artistry was not the best. I don't, I don't know... Um, hold on, let me see if it says it. It doesn't say anything. Um, the artistry was not the best. Um, I could have done without seeing the box trolls, but I really wanted to see it, so, yeah. The next one is Gone Girl. Um, I actually, I know I have not read the book, um, which I I wanted to before I saw the movie, but it came out and I really, really wanted to see the movie. Um, and I loved it. It was a 5 out of 5. I absolutely loved the movie. It was phenomenal. I thought the characters were great. The suspense was great. The twist was great. Um, I never saw that twist coming in a million years. I never saw it coming, especially with all of the um, the recently, like, the commercials. Sorry, I couldn't think of what I was trying to say. Um, but, oh, my God, it was such a good movie. If you need a suspense kind of movie and kind of one, it's a little long, um, but one to kind of, like, keep you seated and, like, oh, my God, this movie, go and see Gone Girl. It's so good. The next one is The Judge. Um, this one has Robert Downey Jr. and Robert Duvall in it. Um, it was a very good movie. Um, the beginning was kind of dull to get into, but as you got into it, it really caught my attention, and it was really good. Um, I really loved the, 
the sarcasm that they threw into it, because it is a very serious movie. Um, but they threw a lot of sarcasm, sarcasm, sarcasm in with Robert Downey Jr., and I absolutely loved it. Um, I would definitely give it a four out of five stars. It could have been a tiny bit better. Um, it should have kind of started out with something that I loved instead of ending with something I loved. Even well, technically, a good movie should have both. But um, it was a very good movie. I did, I did like it. Um, the next one is Jezebel. This one's not very well known. Um, it was just kind of a scary movie that we saw at the uh, Red Box that we wanted to get. It was very good. Uh, well, I don't want to say very good. It was good. Um, the thought of it was, sorry, Zoe wants to apparently make an appearance. Um, Zoe, get down. Go. Uh, the thought of the movie was very good, very kind of well thought through. Um, but, I don't know, it could have been a little bit scarier. The next, is this the last movie? Nope, we have one more movie after this. The next movie is Pride. Um, it's an English movie about, a uh, true story about, um, some gay people and coming through and being, um, this big group in England. Um, it was actually very good. Um, it was boring if you don't care anything about gay people or the gay movement or anything like that. Um, then you probably wouldn't like it. But if you do, definitely watch it. It's one of those movies that you have to kind of see. Um, I would give it probably a four, four and a half stars out of five. And the last movie I have for you um, is The Intruders. It has Miranda Cosgrove, which is her on the cover. Um, she was eh in the movie. Zoe, go! Apparently my dog never listens to me. Um, it was an okay movie. It wasn't the best movie. Um... See, I say that about, like, every movie out there, except, like, my favorites. Um, but it was good. Um, I, I would probably give it maybe four stars. Um, the twist was very different. I didn't think the twist was going to happen, but it did. Oh, and look who's home. Hello. Um, and now our dogs are going to go crazy. Um, but I didn't think it was going to happen, so it was actually a very interesting twist. Um, so it is kind of a must-see and so now since it's noisy, I'll be doing my next video later. Bye!